In this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid clipping with a dry run in Reaper. So the project in front of me here that I've been mixing for a little bit, and I'm pretty happy with how it sounds. Let's hear it. It's your heart. But what I haven't checked is to make sure the master bus or the master out isn't clipping. And we can check that very easily by checking the master track. If we go up here to view, view the master track, and it shows up right here. We can also see it in the mixer over here on the left. If we choose when right clicking, master track to show it in the mixer. So now we can see our level over here. And make sure it's not clipping. It's your heart. Yeah, it's been, is it me now? I know you're trying to behind my back just to feel good about yourself, but he's with me now. As we can tell, it's clipping a bunch, about 3 dB over zero. Even though we're not hearing it, it's still there. And it's going to show up in our final render. So the easiest way. To eliminate that is to add a limiter to the end of our master track effects chain like this. We can see I have an EQ on here already. Double click. Let's type in limit. And I'm going to use the rear limit limiter and put it as the last effect on the master track effects chain. I'm going to adjust the output to give us a bit of headroom. I like to use about minus 0.3. I'm going to leave the threshold alone. So it'll just affect anything above zero and bring it down so our mix doesn't clip. It's your heart. These little white areas are the waveforms that were being clipped that are now being limited. And as you can tell, the mix pretty much sounds the same. But if you don't want to use a limiter, and I wouldn't recommend using one if you're sending your mix to a mastering engineer, as he or she is going to use a limiter at the end of their chain anyway. So we don't want to use a limiter for the file we send to them. So let's say we don't want to use this. And let's try this way instead. Let's close this. And let's go up here to the file menu and choose render. And we'll set up our source to be a master mix and the bounds the entire project. Then we'll go down here and create a dry run of our mix, which basically is going to render our mix, but without creating a file, a dry run of what Reaper's going to do when we render our mix. Let's hit this and Reaper starts to render our mix or create a dry run. And we can see all the analytics that go with it. We can see how many samples we're clipping and how far over zero our mix goes. Right now it's plus 3.1. So we can adjust our mix to be 3.1 dB lower. But we could also do it a different way. Let's close this. We could normalize it during the render. Just choose to normalize it to peak and set it either zero or in my case, minus 0.3. And now create another dry run. It's gonna run the mix the same way while it clips, but afterwards it brings the mix down that amount giving us this amount of headroom. So now our mix won't clip at all. Although I still prefer a different way, because this way you're going to hear your mix clipping while you're mixing it. And it's only going to fix it later. So instead, I would turn this off, run the dry run, and note how far over zero it goes. Again, it's over 3.1. So now, we could just bring down our mix that amount, either moving it on the fader here or here. What I prefer to do is go to the routing and just type it in. You can either do minus 3.1, or in my case, where I want to leave a bit of headroom, I'll go minus 3.4. But if your mastering engineer wants even more headroom, we could just adjust that here. And this is going to eliminate 
any clipping in our mix. As with a 14-point processor, you can always fix the math later. You can't clip your individual faders or buses, as all the math can still be adjusted later without clipping. The only exception is if you're using nonlinear plugins. In those situations, just adjust the level based on the manufacturer suggested level. But those plugins should have an input gain to adjust it. Otherwise, they're not designed very well. So now, if we play back our mix, let's reset our meters. It shouldn't clip at all. It's your heart. As we can see, our mix never went over or into the red, and we still have a bit of headroom that we set up. And I prefer to do this along the way as we're mixing, and again at the end before we render our file. This way we're sure there's no clipping in our final rendered file. I should also mention if we right click over here in the meter, we can make some adjustments for the metering settings. We do the same over here as well on the master track meter. Just makes it easier so you can customize what you see. But as long as we create a dry run and set our master level, which exists after any plugins on this track, it's never going to clip the master bus or the two track final file. It's your heart. That's pretty much it. That's how to avoid clipping with a dry run in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!